So for 20 years on the floor of the United States Senate, I have introduced this bill and told the stories of the dreamers. I think I've gotten through to a number of people because the word dreamer now is, uh, really signifies more this citizenship status than anything else. I joke that when I first started this mission, if you would have asked people who were the dreamers, older folks would have said, why, that's a British rock group, a fellow named Freddie, who's a lead singer. But today, when you mention the word dreamers, people automatically think of these young people and their situation uh, in the United States, which to this day, because of our failure to pass the DREAM Act, is still unresolved. They came to the United States as kids. They're American in every way. They went to our schools and they stood up every morning and put their hand over their heart, pledged allegiance to that flag, the only flag they've ever known. They thought they were just like the kids next to them. And then one day, the parents sat down and told them the reality. They go to school with our kids. We see them in church. We know that they stand by the beds of our neighbors and relatives who are fighting COVID-19. We know that they are injecting life-saving vaccines in the arms of our parents and loved ones. And they are giving back to America as teachers, nurses, engineers, and soldiers but they are not citizens of the United States. Today, I will once again reintroduce the DREAM Act with Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican from South Carolina, as my co-sponsor. I want to thank him for doing this and making it a bipartisan effort. We have a long history of working together, though we disagree on many things.